in this tutorial we will learn about macro or VBA program that will select a folder and create list of all files from that folder on Excel sheet so here we can see that I have a button when I click this button I get a window where I can select any folder let me select this folder named as testing press ok so we can see that path of selected folder is captured in cell B2 and list of all files has been created by VBA program in column D so this is a kind of automation that allows user to select any folder and creates list of all files in a column so let's see how we can develop this kind of VBA program or automated tool so first of all I will open a new Excel file and on this new Excel file we can create same automated tool so let me close the old file and create this program from scratch so first of all I will go to developer tab and here I will click on insert and from active X controls I will select a command button and I will drag a small command button here let me increase the width of column B and column A as well and then let me increase width of this command button we can rename this command button by right click and then select properties in caption we can give any caption so let me give click for folder selection we can close this window now and here let's see uh, in which cell we want to capture path of folder so if I want to capture path of folder in cell B2 so let me highlight this cell we know that address for this B2 in VBA would be row number 2 and column number 2 so that we will see while writing VBA code now in column D we want to capture the list of all files in any selected folder now I will double click on this command button so that I can write VBA code for this tool or for this automation so let me double click we can see that this is VBA editor where I will write VBA code for the requirement so first of all I will declare few variables so dim a b c as object this is object kind of variable then my folder as object so I will make use of these variables third is third variable and then fourth variable one more variable dim i as integer so I have object variables then file dialog variable one string variable and one integer variable so first line of VBA code I would write to open window for selecting folder so to understand better let me write so I have put a comma before this line so this is 
comments and it will not execute it so code is set my file dialog equal to application dot file dialog we get choice of three types of parameters where I will select folder picker close bracket so this VBA line will work to open window for folder selection next line is to save file path or I would say path of selected folder in Excel file so as a comment let me write to save path of to save path of selected folder in excel file so code is this code i will write within if statement so let me write if my my file dialog dot show equal to minus one then why have given minus one once we select folder and then press ok so that is being assigned with the help of minus one then what should happen worksheets sheet one we are working on sheet one so name of sheet is also sheet one so we are giving here name in inverted commas dot cells so as i told you that b2 would be row number two and column two dot value equal to my file dialog dot selected items and in brackets i will give one press enter formatting is done automatically so this is if statement so i need to give and if so this code is to capture path of selected folder in cell b2 now what is next code next code is set my file dialog equal to why we need this code this code is to I would say release memory for my dialog object so let me write just for understanding to now what is next code next code is let's say user does not select any folder so we will write if worksheets name of sheet that is sheet one dot cells b2 that means row two and column two dot value equal to two inverted commas that means blank cell then exit sub what this line will do if there is blank in cell b2 program will not be executed now i will write some more code set abc equal to create object within brackets in inverted commas i will say scripting dot file system object press enter then set my folder equal to abc dot 
bucket folder worksheets sheet 1 dot cells 2 comma 2 that means we are referring to cell b2 dot value bracket closed press enter now what is next next code is to create list of all files that we have in selected folder or the folder for which we have captured path in cell b2 so let me write to create list of files on sheet for this we need to write one looping statement so let me write for here i will make use of i that we have declared in starting of the program so let me scroll up this is the i variable that we have declared as integer so we are making use of this variable in for loop for each then my file in my folder dot files then next within for loop i write i equal to i plus one press enter then worksheets the name of sheet sheet one dot cells here row will be increased one by one so i will pass i and column is d that means four dot value equal to my file dot name so let me tell you here i am capturing only name so my file dot name i am using we can use some more options like we want to capture path of each file so here instead of name we can give dot path but as of now we are capturing just name of files so i am giving my file dot name now we are done uh, let me write one more line so that program stops by selecting cell a1 so for that i write this workbook dot worksheets sheet 1 dot cells first row first column that means a1 dot select so we have written program so let me do some formatting let me remove extra spaces so this program will work for the automation that we wanted to create so i will minimize this and here i will go to developer tab and then click on design mode so that we can come out of design mode and now what i expect is once i click this button this will bring the same window and here in d drive let me select d drive and here i can select any folder it is not just d drive i am trying to showcase by selecting the same folder that i shown earlier so i am selecting testing folder press ok and we can see list of all files has been created by program and then path is also captured cell b2 here we can say the path of
and we can do formatting whatever we want so let me increase a little bit font size so this is how we can design a macro or automated tool that will allow us to select any folder and then creating list of all files anywhere here we have written program to select folder and create list in column D so thanks for watching this tutorial if you like this please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials so let me show you the code once again Thanks for watching and keep learning. Thank you.